See how straight that hook is when you look down it's this way. I mean I'm talking oh, yeah. the profile of it that way, right? Yep. Okay, see that? Okay, so when you grab it and you grab it with your fingers, it barely grabs enough meat. If you put pinching on it and just hold it there and pull out, right? It, that fish would have to have it in the corner to really grab some meat. So what happens when you take a pair of pliers and you turn it a little bit like that? See the difference? Now it's like a corkscrew. So when that fish comes up and takes a swipe at it, I don't care how it is, it turns and eats. It grabs some meat. This hook is designed like a commercial fisherman. My grandfather called it Tehokian. And you tweak them a little bit so when it comes up and you're running a single hook on a spoon or something, you want it buried up around the eyeball. I mean, you want it to stay, That's right? Awesome. You don't lose them. So almost all my hooks are Tehokie. They're all offset like that. You do that? Yeah, I just bend them a little bit. You just give them a little Just swirl. grab them with the pliers and just bend them out a little bit. Nothing crazy. But it turns and just starts grabbing some meat. Well, thank you. Good trick. Yeah. Uh, one, two, three. Kihoki? Kihoki. Kihoki. Yeah, my grandfather, some other guy came up with it too. My grandfather, I grew up with my grandfather, a commercial troller. And, uh, my mom went through a lot of divorces, so I ended up. Uh, on my grandfather's fishing boat a lot with my grandparents. But 